All right, one, two, three, four, five lights. And here we go again. The second restart, or the first restart for round seven here in Division Two Summit League Racing. As so we're going into turn one, scary turn one. Everyone looks like they got out okay. Doesn't seem to be any connection issues, which is obviously the positive thing here. Can't really tell like who's jumped up and who's not. I think Egg Fryer's lost out quite a few positions. Of course, I have no idea where that is. There it is. Position change. Yeah, five positions. There you go. Really tight battles in this midfield. Oh, there's a, there's a car ghosted there. I did see that. Uh-oh. Red Bulls tapping each other. Abquirty and Ellis there. Could almost uh, be a little bit dangerous there as we come into the castle section. Looks like everyone able to make it through okay on this attempt. Nicely done. Oh my goodness, so many battles. I don't even know where to fucking focus at this point. Ah, it's Coutinho. Coutinho's having the uh, the issues. So he's the one ghosted. I knew there was a car ghosted. I knew I saw it. Take a look at South Raptor. Apparently I have to look at South Raptor to see how his connection is doing. He looks okay. That guy is uh, kind of on Raptor's heels at the moment. Everyone on each other's heels, let's be honest. Just let go in Owen Howell making uh, some moves. Owen Howell coming up the inside. Turn one, nicely done on Kislesko. So that is the uh, final points position for Owen Howell at this point in time. Uh, move up the field. We got Koopa Benz. Oh, Koopa Benz has been clipped for sure. There is for sure been contact with the McLaren. Um, doesn't appear to be any uh, VSC or safety car. We are still clear in green flags. But as you can see, uh, obviously that is uh, detrimental to the McLaren there. Let's see. Uh, did I get the replay? Did I press the replay? I think I did. We were just literally coming into uh, turn three here. And yeah, there was definite contact for sure. We'll let the stewards figure that shit out though. Still have uh, Vapid Coot on the heels of Lee Menz. Corrido leading this race just ahead of Legend in the Aston Martin. Then we have, of course, the Ferrari and the Haas battling it out. Don't forget about Drastic Blaze. He's also sitting in P5 and in DRS range. And we will have DRS on the next lap as well. All right, so here comes a legend. Of course, as I said, right after turn two, there will be DRS. So it'll be all about getting a nice exit coming out of you. Turn one and two, respectively. Oh, there's a uh, there's a yellow flag. And that is a VSC at the moment. I can't see a yellow dot at the moment to call a full safety car. But for sure, we do have a virtual safety car. Here we go. Take a look here at the back. I cannot see a full safety. So, VSC. Everyone obviously having to follow a certain delta, or you get the dreaded drive through penalty. At least it's not a full safety car. It could be a lot worse, let's be honest. Oh, 
All right, we are green. We are good to go, folks. We are good to go. We're back to racing. No one got any extra penalties, which is great to see. And now we go into that long main straight. We have all our drivers pretty much with each other. And this could be fun. Of course, we're still going to have DRS assistance. Just a VSC. Nothing too crazy. Abercrombie just behind Owen Howell. Could he, uh, I think he, uh, this may have been the driver that um, had the contact earlier with the McLaren. Not 100% on that. But it seems like uh, Cooper Benz has retired from the session now. Very unfortunate stuff for the McLaren driver. I'm sure he's going to be fucking fuming. Meanwhile, you we have uh, Legends still putting pressure on Carrito up at the front. Vapakut still behind Menz. I have no idea who's going to make a move going into where. And of course, it also consists of the you know drivers ahead making mistakes and whatnot. I'll do my best, folks. I'm going to do my best to uh, try and catch all the little incidents here. Oh, oh, looks like Danny D got a little squirrely on that exit because let's go going right up on the inside. Nicely done and makes the move before turn seven. The McLaren definitely making contact with the Aston there. And of course, you got Coutinho. Luckily, Coutinho's ghosted actually, so it's not like he can actually interfere with what's going on. That's that's a good thing. But yeah, because let's go taking P9 now in this race. See how Ellis is doing. Ellis uh, may be putting on some pressure onto Drastic Blaze going into turn one here. Of course, this is a very long straight. And he's going to get slipstream to boot. Oh my goodness. Look at that straight line speed from the Red Bull. It's almost like real life, eh, folks? Holy crap. Well, nicely done from the Red Bull, but. Don't forget, Drastic Blaze now has a opportunity here. There is a little DRS section right here. Does he have enough? And it does not appear so. The Red Bull just got the straight line speed, it would appear. Uh oh. Oh, full. Ladies and gentlemen, full safety car. Full safety car. It looks like Active JMC is the culprit. I'm not sure exactly what happened. South Raptor has left the session. That has to be a connection issue. That is a full safety car now. Wow. All right, then. Well, at least uh, brings a little calm to the storm. Corrido still sitting in first, obviously, ahead of Legends, Lemans, and Vapid Coot. It's been like that pretty much for all five laps. At least the one positive is for the drivers, you know, that need to catch up a little bit. This will give them plenty of time to do so. I'm really curious to what happened to uh, Active JMC. Wait, is Carito going to pit? Carito's pitting. Oh my goodness. Almost killed himself. Alright, it looks like uh, most of our drivers are pitting. Drastic Blaze is staying out. Abquarty is staying out. Is Lesko staying out? Coutinho staying out. Wow. Well, I mean, half the grid boxed. The other half didn't. Well, I mean, I trust these guys. I, I have to say... That if these guys are doing it and so many of them are going onto the hard compound, I have to guess or assume 
that the hards there or they feel like there's no problem with the hards doing 20 laps obviously the, the one person that I fear obviously is Alice is I almost guarantee even with my lack of knowledge I almost can guarantee you guys that he will not finish this race on this compound so he's gonna probably have to come in again This is fun though. Drastic, Abiquity, and Coutinho staying out. Obviously, Coutinho's ghost staying out. Coutinho doesn't really have a fucking choice or say in the matter, let's be honest. And uh, if Coutinho does get any points, which is highly doubtful, let's be honest, especially if he stays in AI mode. Then it'll probably be voided because, well, he's in AI mode. Well, we're going to have to go around one more time. Well, 20 laps to go. So we're going to start this. Uh, we should restart the race back up with 19 laps to go officially. And of course, just a reminder, folks, no DRS assistance for the first two laps once the safety car does decide to come in. And of course, like normal, we are waiting for Adrian to get up to the back of the pack, which honestly he should do coming up right here. There's gonna be the very slow middle section here. So it looks like South Raptor has rejoined the session. Where is he sitting? Scene P15. Hopefully uh, he gets that connection issue. I We were watching him for a little bit. He seemed okay. Well, this should be interesting considering that six guys didn't actually pit and stayed out. Technically, uh, Legend, who was in first place, is now in seventh with Lee in eighth. Got Vapid Coot in ninth, and then Corito. I'm not sure what happened. He might have messed up on the pits. That's the only thing I can assume. Maybe he got a red or something going in, but regardless, he's lost out to everyone there and is now sitting in P10. There goes Sulthor Raptor again. Alright, so safety car should be coming in at the, uh, or at least we should get the notification shortly. But it should be coming in at the end of this lap. Here we go. Safety car is in. We got the official green flags up on the top of the screen. And we are ready to get back underway here. Drastic plays holding everyone up. Head of Abiquarity, Kozlesko, and Coutinho. Coutinho still not in the race, so he's ghosted. So technically, Eggfryer should be able to take this position nice and quick. And we already have some shenanigans going up at the front. Kozlesko looking to make a move on Abiquarity coming into turn two, maybe? Nope. Just gonna stay there. Everyone being patient. Oh, and there goes Egg Fryer. He is facing the wrong way, folks. And now, or sorry, that was that that guy. I apologize. It's that guy. It was not Egg Fryer. 
And it looks like Drastic Blaze has also made a mistake as well. He's dropped down to P12 from P1. Oh my goodness. So multiple cars, or multiple people actually, messing up on the restart. Ironically, you still got the Ghost of Cotino up into P3. Just taking advantage of all the shit going down in the background. We got Owen Howells now had an issue in the background there. Wow. Not even nine laps in, folks, and we already got pure carnage. Legend able to take advantage of uh, the ghosting, though. Look at that, just going right through the ghost. And Coutinho, well, he's going to have some uh, real problems, especially if he doesn't get in. Let's uh, focus on the other guys now. You got Kislesko still putting on pressure on Abiquarty for P1 of this race. But it's obviously Lee Menz that we're looking uh, forward to seeing here. Corito has also made a move on Vapid Coop, by the way, in the background. He's probably going to get past the Ghost shortly. Lee Menz needs to hunt down Legends. At least stay in DRS range. As long as he can stay within a second of Legends, then I'm sure he'll be really happy with that. Corito's made the move on Coutinho. So we already have Corito pushing through the field and trying to get back those positions he lost in the pits. Let's take a look at some of the background. We got Egg Fryer still here and Mash. Looks like South Raptor is back. I mean, his connection looks fine, folks, but just, uh, I guess his internet's giving out every once in a while, which means he's disconnecting every once in a while, which is obviously unfortunate. Uh-oh, there we go. Drastic Blaze. Oh, no. And to think he was restarted this race in P1. Now he's down in a P15. It's just really unfortunate stuff there. All right, so we should have also DRS assistance right on this lap coming up, folks. Oh, his Lesko's made a move, by the way, on Abiquarity over here. Wow. Red Bull coming right back and just slams right into the back. And Legends goes right around the outside. Legends like, thank you, Agatez. Thank you. Peace. Oh, my goodness. Legends with the sneaky moves around the outside. And that is P1 for at least one Aston. Almost almost like a switcheroo from the Aston drivers. Now Kozlesko is going to come back at Abquirty, I'm sure. You got Lee Menz also waiting in the win. Has a look on the inside. Luckily, that all worked out. Uh oh, here comes Corito. Corito, oh man, he goes for the move on the inside. There is no reason to make that move, I think. Kind of almost expected something to happen there. Now, Vapid Cute having a look on Corito. Corito maybe just getting a little too anxious in certain corners here. And I'm sure you guys know and agree with me when it comes to Baku, at least. Like, I know everyone wants to get a fucking overtake done. Let's, let's not, like, lie to each other. But at the same time, it's Baku. We got to be careful. You cannot get overzealous because you will pay for it with, well, your life or your car. <laughs> Man, Legends is just pulled away, by the way. That fresh set of hards really working out for Legends, and I'm truly believing that Legends will be able to end the race on that hard compound. I'm sure these guys have had plenty of practice. And now we have the second Aston going for the move up on the inside. And actually, the Ferrari coming in there as well and they both get the move done wow and now here comes lee into turn two 
Luckily, the Aston gives him space, but compromises his exit speed. And there goes Lee Menz with the DRS as well. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you knew Corrito was going to come in there. He's watching the Ferrari just go past these guys. And now he wants some of that action. But then you have Vapicute, Corrito, and Abquart. He's just all in that bunch there. Something's happened in the background, by the way. Look, I don't think anything is uh, happening majorly for the race, though. Just looks like Alan Howell and uh, that guy having some struggles in turn ones and two, respectively. Please keep an eye on Ellis, by the way, too, with those soft tires. I'm sure the soft tires will fall off pretty quickly, especially here in uh, Baku, where it's normally really fucking hot. <coughs> All right, well... Corrido finally making a move up into P4. And now he's got uh, one and a half seconds approximately to catch up to Kislesko up into P3. Of course, Kislesko still has to make a mandatory pit stop as well. So keep that in mind. Abquarty, though. I guess came back at Corrido. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe Abquarty just got the rocket straight line speed. He's also got the battery too. Corrido running really low on battery versus uh, Abquerty here. Those Urs, that Urs really helping out the Red Bull. He's got to keep that though. Corrido's getting real aggressive. He's getting sneaky as well. He's going to probably have a look on the inside here of this chicane. Yeah, he does almost. Wow. You can see he almost forces Abquarty to do a different kind of line. Luckily for the Red Bull, he's able to keep the position. Now we come in the inside of turn seven. And of course, you do not want to be too wide going to the castle. Here we go. Who's going to be brave? And there it is. You knew it was going to happen, folks. You knew it was going to happen. And that is a full safety car. I almost called that shit. Like you could just tell that was going to happen you do not want to go too wide and uh yeah Corrito getting the shit end of the stick realistically and proverbially and uh yeah oh no abquerty is now retired from the session abquerty is out so abquerty I don't know if he uh, did that on purpose because he felt bad. But yeah, regardless, here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Here is what happened. And you can see just side by side, just going into turn 70, you knew something bad was going to happen. And uh, it ended up happening. You're going to see, obviously, the guys who didn't pick go into the pits for their free little pit stop. Actually, most of the field going in for pit stops now. Looks like Adrian, Vapicute, Men's, and Legends staying out. Well, we started off with 20. Now we are down to 16, folks. Not really sure what happened to uh, Abquerty there. Honestly, it, just from the, the aftermath and not really knowing anything, it just seems like he had just a crash. Coming into the uh, downhill left-hander. Well, we've definitely seen a lot of incidents, I'm sure, in real life uh, at turn 15. 
And I guess in in real or in uh, the virtual world, it's uh, all the same. Man, South Raptor having a nightmare with the connection. Well, we're going to go around one more time, folks. So grab your beers, hit your bowls, do what you got to do. We're at least halfway through this race now. Luckily, Baku goes by pretty quickly, let's be honest. It's a nice, fast track. Very, it re It's very reminiscent to me of Jetta. In terms of, you know, there's very similar laps. Jetta 25 here, 26. And, of course, they have some very, very fast sections of the track. Where you can just pretty much go flat out. Alright, hopefully we get uh, back under restart for this uh, for lap 15. Just gotta wait for uh, Danny D to get back up to the pack and we should be good. I'll be right back, folks. Folks, sorry about that. And as I said, or as I predicted earlier, we are back to racing speed at least very shortly. Looks like men's getting a good uh, restart on uh, Legends. Bapakut sitting in P3, Adrian in P4. Gonna hold off uh, Kislesko and Egg Fry, I guess, for the time being. Maybe. Oh, Kislesko going right up the inside and making the move done nicely done before turn three even. And that is uh, P4 for Kozlesko. You got Golden Egg Fryer, I'm sure. Looking at that, wanting to make the move on Adrian himself. Oh, we have a car ghosted in the background. Yeah, South Raptor. I guess he's having uh, still with those issues in the internet. So, yeah, we got two guys who have completely ghosted out now. That's always fun to see. See if uh, Drastic can get through this ghost here. Only having having some looks as well. Lots of uh, lots of our drivers having looks here. Of course, no DRS assistance for the first two laps after that safety car. So it's going to be all about driver skill, breaking points, all the all the little shenanigans here, and of course maybe a little bit of hers. A little bit of battery never hurt anybody, right? Man, 
Look at that straight line speed from the Aston as he rides the Haas. Oh my goodness. I think there was almost a little bit of contact there. But Kislesko getting the move done. And uh, that is P3 for the Aston. One and three respectively for Team Aston Martin. And I'm sure they will be loving that in real life. Can you imagine? Fernando Alonso and Lance Stroll up there? That would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> or is it just because I'm Canadian? Regardless, Egg Fryer, I'm sure he's going to be putting on pressure onto Adrian soon. Adrian looks to be uh, struggling a bit. Even though Vapiku is on the same strategy as Adrian, it seems like Adrian not having as easy of a time as Vapid Coot is. It seems like Vapid's a little more comfortable with regards to the hard compound still. Still have all our drivers nice and close. Luckily, I don't think anyone's going to go side by side anymore. At least we can hope that no one goes side by side anymore. It could be absolute freaking chaos, let's be honest. Because well, Lesko is in an interesting position, folks. Really interesting position here. Obviously, the three lap old mediums versus the 10 lap old hearts. I'm pretty sure both drivers will be able to go at the end of the race, but you have to assume that the mediums are going to be faster. You can kind of see this straight line speed difference, not even with the DRS assistance, which will be activated right here. So let's we'll see what happens coming out of turn two. Can the Aston pass the Ferrari and, you know, hold off men's and maybe give Legends the free win, essentially? Here we go. Men's does have DRS as well to help himself defend. And uh, Kislesko was looking left, right. No, not going to happen, says the Ferrari of Lee Men's. And that's another thing, too. you got to take a look at the uh, battery difference here. The 70% versus the 40%. So the top two drivers not using any battery, whereas some of these back drivers are. Vapid Coot staying in the wind. He's just basically taking advantage of these guys slowing down a little bit. Just a little bit of congestion. Man, it's crazy. Three or four wide. I'm, I'm sure the uh, the braking in the castle section can be a little bit mucked up when it comes to uh, finding that braking point. Let's be honest. You need all the downforce you can get in Sector 2 here at Baku. Sector 3, you can be fine. You know what I mean? But, like, fuck. That castle section can really screw you over. And especially if you miss that braking point, you will definitely pull a Corito. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> you don't want to see it. You don't want to see it. Well, now we have a longer straight. But, man, all props to the Ferrari, able to hold his less go off. And you know what? This might be one of those situations where he might actually force the Aston to use all that ERS or the, all the battery, you know? And then, I don't know. We'll see. Will he, even, if he makes the move, will he have any battery left to help him defend? Awesome. Oh, here we go. Up the inside is Kazuko. Very ballsy there. Pushing Lee to the outside. And Vapid Coot may be having a look now on the inside. He thinks better of it. And I'm sure Menz will not be happy with that. Menz has lost a lot of time to the Aston. And now the Haas may be having a look. I think he should be patient. I mean, this would be, in my opinion, I, I would be fucking patient at this point. He has to know that Lee Menz is going to be absolutely fuming at this point.
Still really close battles all up through the midfield. He's like Mash making a move up drastic. Blaze on the inside of turn 16. Nicely done. That was, uh, that was a pretty nice move from the Mercedes. Uh oh, my goodness. That was scary from Owen. Luckily, he gets through, and he is right up the heels of Drastic now. Are they both going to go through? Yes, they are. Mash can't really do anything there. Doesn't have any DRS. And it's kind of forced to uh, stick behind the two now as they go. We might see some carnage here. Oh, it looks like Williams backing up there. And there's definitely contact. There's contact. Mash and Blaze make contact. Raptor goes through the inside. Raptor, is he back? He might be back now. Oh, my goodness. What is going on now? Drastic going up. Or Mash, sorry, going up on the inside of Drastic. Jesus. There's some nice little overtakes here. Uh, back to back corners, respectively. This is a uh, fun driving. Obviously, they're losing time to the guys ahead, but. Good shit. Good shit. <laughs> Obviously, Drastic is going to be pissed off just because he shouldn't. He, he'll, he'll, in his mind, he'll be thinking he shouldn't even be back here. But he is, and he's got to deal with it, unfortunately. Let's see up here, Adrian holding P6. I believe he's started the restart in P3 or P4. Honestly, my head hurts, so I can't even remember. Damn. All right. Egg Fryer coming up on the inside. Didn't want to say anything just in case. I don't know why I got nervous all of a sudden, but Egg Fryer does get the move done. Nicely done. And that is P4 for the Merc. Vapid Coot holding on to P5. 14 lap old hards versus the 7 lap mediums of Egg Fryer. And uh, maybe the uh, hard tire's falling off a little bit. Perhaps. I mean, Baku is a weird track, so I, I wouldn't put it past this game to, you know, fuck around with our drivers a little bit with their tire temperatures. And Adrian right in this pack. I'm, I'm kind of surprised with that. He's staying in the fight, at least. We also have Owen Howell up with Moly here for P7. Is he going to have that straight line speed? Oh, my goodness. There's an incident in the background. It looks like legendary Danny D has crashed. And that is a full safety car, folks. Another full safety car. Literally crashing at turn 19, pulling a Lance Stroll. It is legendary Danny D, and now both McLarens out of this race. And we do not have many laps to go, folks. But, yeah, as you can see, full safety car has been deployed. We're going to have to go around again, so... We may only have three, two or three laps of racing left. This is the uh, third full safety car of the race. I think he, it was almost expected here at Baku, let's be honest. Oh, 26 laps, six victims. 
sounds about right. No more. No more crashes, folks. <laughs> Uh-oh, MASH has got a five-second time penalty. Earth was at three seconds, sorry. Track limits, uh... Not normally a big issue with regards to Baku. But uh, I guess it, it uh... MASH m might have uh, had an incident somewhere. Alright, well. This this should be interesting. Are we going to see get some guy's box? Or are we going to see people stay out and risk it for the brisket? What What's going to happen here? Especially with our leaders. Got Legend going in. Kislesko staying out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Adrian is staying out. Actually, you know what? That's not too bad for Legends, and in, in realistically, if he's got just two ghosts to pass, he should be okay. So Adrian may have something to worry about, especially with Legend being on those fresh set of softs. And then the 16 lap old hards, but if anyone can do it, it's, it's my boy Adrian. <laughs> And uh, what a weird race it really has been. It's just, it's just been a kind of a, just an awkward race, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, but as you can see, Adrian moving up a bunch of positions. South Raptor and Coutinho really haven't really been in this race. So I'm pretty sure that those results will be voided. But they are <laughs> up into P4 and 5 respectively. Yeah, we should get back to racing pace at lap 24, which would mean we have three laps to finish this race. One lap under DRS. Might get a nice a long shoot or a nice one straight shootout, you know, for the very end. On the nice back end of this track. I love sector three of this track. Absolutely gorgeous. Cars just absolutely ripping it max speed. And Kozlesko has got to be happy too, sitting in P1, 10 positions up. I mean, look at that. Our top four positions. There's up 10 positions, up six positions, up 15, and up 15. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Just the one three second time penalty for MASH. And now at this point, I'm just hoping that Sautier and uh, Drastic Plays get back up to the pack so we can actually get started. Five second penalty, ignoring blue uh, yellow flags. So there goes uh, South Raptor's real chance. I, I feel like something was going on there. Wait, is Adrian trying to disqualify him? I'm so confused what is going on here. That was sus, right? That was sus. Like, why is he letting him pass? Well, weird, 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 weird.
Alright, we... I don't think we've got the notification yet. Still waiting for Drastic to get back up to the... Uh, the rear end. And oh no. Our worst fears have been realized, folks. We are going around one more time. Oh no. So obviously that means no DRS assistance anymore. It's just going to be a two lap shootout. Oh my goodness, this is this is great practice for the Diesel Classic, I'll tell you that for free. Well, I am very curious now to see what's going to happen, especially with these soft runners. You have to imagine that Legend's probably going to get through uh, the ghost of the Alpha Romeo very quickly. Man, Lehman, down in the P9. He is uh, probably not going to be happy with that. Wow, I am, I am not doing well when I'm sick, folks. Just not doing well when I'm sick. Hopefully uh, next week I'll be back to 100% and then I can uh, start talking more, be a little more enthusiastic. So I do apologize for the stream. If you guys are watching this, like in the future, and you're like, what the fuck is going on with this dumbass? Well, it's just, I'm, I've been sick. Alright folks, let's get ready for the restart. And we have Kislesko leading us away ahead of Golden Egg Fryer. Oh my goodness. Uh oh wow, Legends already battling it out with Vapid Coot coming to turn two. Looks like uh, Legends gonna win out that battle for the time being. Vapid, I'm sure, gonna be putting on some pressure. That's not gonna allow though Legends to catch up to these ghosts here, which of course is what he wants. They've already passed one. Now they're gonna get past uh, Raptor now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. They've gotten past them. Now can Legends put on some pressure onto Adrian? Just two laps, folks. Just two freaking laps. You can see, using that battery, trying to go around the outside into turn seven. This is not good. We do not want to see side by side of the castle. Please, folks. Please do not have a repeat. I do not need more deja vu. Holy crap. These guys are going. Oh, man. It looks like Adrian literally let everyone through. He just backed away. Oh my goodness, and now the ghosts. That is just very unfortunate. Now it looks like Lee is crashing the wall. A lot of weird shit happened there. I think it may have thrown off a couple of our drivers there. And now Adrian is crashed at turn 15, by the way. But we're going to obviously focus on the front. We got Kislesko in P1 and Egg Fryer in P2 still. Now we got Legends on a fucking charge right now. He's got one lap to go. And you can see these Fresh Softs are in prime position right now. And he's also got 
Well, this guy only got 25% battery left. He's got to be smart here. He's got the slipstream as well to boot. Can he go around the outside? Golden Egg Fryer going to go defensive here with his positioning. Oh, man. He, oh, he literally forced Legend into the wall almost there. That was very scary. Oh, now Legend gets aggressive. Oh, boy. There is. That was, um... That was, um... <laughs> that was aggressive. <laughs> that was aggressive. Uh, I don't know a better way to put it. Uh, Vapid Q... Now coming up. Trying to give uh, Legend a little bit of, of uh, the love that he gave to Egg Fryer. Sure, Vapid Q's going to probably just try to make the attack on the long straight here. As long as he can get a good exit out of turn 16... He should be okay. This is going to be close. But because let's go. Wow. Luckily for him, he was ahead of enough people. And uh, Legend had enough trouble within the two laps. If there was any more laps, though, you have to imagine Legend probably would have got the move done. Just too little, too late. Fabincoot going to try and push, but it's just... He's just a little too far away. Ladies and gentlemen, your race winner is the Aston Martin Kislesko. What a race. 1-2 for Aston Martin. Vapid Cute coming in P3. Lee making a pretty good recovery drive. Uh, in Moving up to P4. I think he was on in P9 on the restart, if I'm not mistaken. So, not too shabby from him. Egg Fryer, of course, in P5. I'm sure he'll be very upset. We got Moly in P6, Drastic Blaze in P7, and uh, we'll go to that in a little bit. <laughs> and according to the game, driver of the day is that guy. I don't know. I think it was Kozlesko, driver of the day. Let's be real. Kozlesko had a fucking race, though. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. All the way from P11. Takes the race win. That that That's a performance and a half. Anyways, got Legend P2. Vapid Q in P3. Lee in P4. Uh, Golden Egg Fire P5. Moly in P6. Drastic Blaze in P7. That guy, P8. Coutinho uh, and South Raptor, P9 and 10, respectively. But they had connection issues. So we may see... Don't be surprised if you see Sautier and Mash move up positions into the points. So just... Or sorry, Owen Howell and Sautier. I apologize. So if you see these two guys move up into the final point positions, don't be surprised just because they had their issues. And... Uh, yeah, that would mean Sautier also gets an extra point for fastest lap of the race. If that happens, of course. I'm not 100%. Because I'm not 100%. Anyways, um, I do apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys forgive me. Um, I'm not going to do interviews today. Like I'm just feeling like absolute trash. Um, I'm going to go eat something. Probably like have a nap or something. Watch some drive to survive and pass out. But... Um, yeah, hopefully I'll be more energetic. I'll be back up to 100% for next Friday. Um, obviously, next Friday being my home race in Canada. 